Hey guys, Filthy Bird here. It looks like we are going to have Fusion Chamber for Season 2. Um, I'm just going to show you this little clip and then we are going to dissect it and talk about everything that is going into it. Um, so, here we go. Let's mute it first. And right there. We'll look at it and see it has the Fusion Chamber 2. I don't know how this guy got it, um, but we're going to pause it right there. Um, like I said, this has been posted on Twitter a couple times. I don't know how this guy got it. It seems weird that would show up on his game. So it just might be a little bit of a one-time thing. But it does make sense after I thought about it. And after what a couple people said on Twitter about it. Um, so I'm just going to play it. It looks like... By the look of things, it's going to be like the loyal to Fusion Chamber at the start of Season 2. Um, that it's now going to be point totals that factor into that. So, you guys are going to want to save all of your pros. As pros are going to be more points than singles. So, um, let's say you don't need a Survivor Pro in your RTG deck anymore. You don't have no use for him. I would recommend keeping him as that will be more points than a single going into the fusion chamber. Um, so yeah, by the looks of it, it's pretty much everything that I just stated. It's going to go by points. Um, and so yeah, so let's just cut right into blue stacks. And we will be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Um, after you guys saw that little clip of what it looks like is Fusion Ch Chamber Season 2, what are your guys' thoughts on that? Now, I've had a little bit of a theory that I have been thinking about. The reason why I think event pros um, for WrestleMania tier are in the 6,000s, um, like Andre the Giant, is, is um, he's high 5,000s and low 6,000s. For his stats, the reason why I think his stats are like that is because the way Cat Daddy is now doing it. Now, in Season 1, Fusions were better than Event Pros. What I think they're going to do to make Event Pros a little bit more... Uh, yeah, Event Pros, um, like I said, guys, are in the, high six, in the low 6,000s. Fusions, I think, are going to be in the middle. They're probably going to be like mid-5,000s, a little bit low-5,000s. That way, they can beat regular WrestleMania pros and be a little bit str not stronger, weaker than event pros. That way, um, event pros are the strongest cards in the game, which I agree. I think they should be. I think it's a smart decision by Cat Daddy, so I give kudos to them on that. It's actually a smart decision. Um, so yeah, I guess time would just tell um, on when we get the update. I, I imagine it's going to be like in a month. Um, a month or two. I don't think it's any a little bit closer than that. Seeing as how WrestleMania 2 just released, and they don't want to make Wrestle regular WrestleMania pros irrelevant right off the bat. Um. So yeah, just getting into that. Um. I will show you guys my RTG progress. I almost have Taker done. Um. The funny thing is, I bought 152 titles, and I really regret it at this point. Um. Just because I pulled so many titles at the start of RTG, that I have so many left. Um. And if I wanted to, I could probably spend like 1,500 credits and get reigns. Currently, I'm on the plus two grind also. Um, but I just, I don't, I'm not feeling like having that grind because I would have to play all day, literally. And, uh, yeah, I don't, reigns would help out my deck a lot. It's just something I don't want to do at this point. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Um. My King of the Ring was over yesterday. I actually didn't even make brackets. Uh, I was in a pretty tough King of the Ring, but it looks like I am in a better one right now. Um, and I'm not doing too bad, if I would say so. So that's Energize, just because I know this Christian guy does not have too bad of a deck. Um, I am in first place, I'm pretty sure. I'm ahead by one game. I didn't lose once while sleeping, which is weird, because I wasn't Energized at all. Um, the only thing I want to watch out is this Alex guy. He can actually beat me. Um, I think what's going on right now is not a lot of people are energizing and I'm energizing. Which could kind of screw me over. But let's just hope not. Um, so yeah, like I said guys, I'm probably just going to go for Taker and that's it. 
Um, Taker will be a single for me since I didn't get his other card in the Flash RTG a couple weeks ago. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but it will be another Survivor single, which increases our odds for a pro. Um, let's hope we get something good um, from our next pool, because I know my pool has to be coming real soon. I mean, it has to be. Um, so let's just hope. I'm actually hoping to get a Diva before I get my next Superstar. Um, it, before, I either want a pro survivor or a diva because I need divas at this point. Um, the way I'm looking at it, I could get all the survivor pros in the world. If I don't get that diva survivor pro, I'm not going to make it into WrestleMania tier. So I just want to start stockpiling them divas. That's something I need to do. Alrighty. So, let's go. Um... I have two Survivor singles in my RTG deck still. Um, I have Legendary Pros ready to pro. Well, not ready to pro. Um, I just got to get games played on them. I almost have a Legendary Pro Gold Dust done, which is going to knock out another um, freaking Survivor single out of my deck. Um, but I have some pretty good Survivor Pros that I still have yet to pro. I mean, not Survivor Pro. I still have a good bit of Legendary Pros. I still have yet to pro. I will show you guys all of them. Um, but it's just time. It takes a while to pro out a card to get all the games played with them. Um, when you're as busy as me. And, yeah. I mean, I, I have a lot of Legendary Pros I want to get out of my deck. Such as Mark Henry. I have two Sheamuses in. Especially this Mark Henry, it is a crap card. Like, if it's not power toughness, he's going to lose. Lose, lose, lose. So, that's kind of poopy. Um, so, I will show you guys all these cards here in a minute. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Come on, baby. Nothing pulled in RTG good at all. I think the highest I've pulled is super rare. Um, so, yeah, it's good to autofill. And, alright, so this Stardust is done. Um, I think I got all the games played with him because I put him in my deck. And it, it's kind of disappointing that he's not better than... He's better than one Sheamus, but he's not better than the other. Which doesn't make sense. I don't. I actually like the way I did this Sheamus. I once statted him. And, and, you know, in power, he's pretty good. Um, so that's kind of disappointing that he's not better. Every time I do autofill, I always get that freaking... Um, freaking second wind or whatever it's called 19 plus 19 to all stats so this is the way my deck's looking um, I have a lot of legendary pros to pro out which I will show you guys all right here whenever supercard catches up um, so this is what I'm looking at look at all these um, these last two I'm not even going to worry about just because they suck especially Jack Swagger um, I'm probably just going to incorrectly pro them and use them for Fusion Chamber when the time comes up. Um, and what the world? Why is it so distorted like that? That is horrible card image. Freaking uh, graphic detail image quality. So let's see if it goes up. Because that image quality was crap. I don't know why it was on medium. And all that now let's see if it's better yeah it's better um so yeah like i said i'm getting ready to pro out this gold dust um yeah just power and toughness matches i have on him um and then i have freaking edge i want to get done which is a left arrow reigns i want to get done that's an up arrow but he's going to replace one of the sheamuses because i imagine he's a lot better than freaking sheamus you know i have none of the games played for either reigns um what about this warrior? Warrior's about halfway done for the first one, and then the second one I have nothing done. Um, I think one of these edges is done. If I ah, know, wow, none of the edges complete. That's weird. Um, like I said, then I have Rusev. I can pro out, so I have like three more legendary. Pro well, actually, I have Warrior, Edge, Reigns, and Rusev. Rusev, I might want to get done, um, too, just because he's a down arrow, and, you know, Warrior and Edge, they're both left arrows, and that's what I need, and then Reigns can replace one of the Sheamuses, 
Um, so that's cool. Um, and then I can play in Christian here. Uh, I'm not going to energize against him. I'll save my energies. Um, so let's just hope we beat Christian. And ba 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 ba. So let's play another plus two here. Ah, on the road to take her conquering the streak. Alrighty, so power. You know, this adding in this uh camera legendary pro diva, it's helped me out more than you could imagine. Even though it's a crappy pro, it's helped me out so much. Um I just I'm really wanting another legendary pro diva. As I hear Biggie Dude in the background. And you know my deck's pretty balanced, so I don't have too much of a problem with these plus twos at all. Um Shit, that was power toughness. I don't think I'm gonna win that. No, I'm not. Uh, charisma. We use Rollins here just because we might need to use the other two Sheamuses. There we go. Ooh, a double proc. I like that. <clears throat> you know, our deck's coming along good. I really wish if I would have played more on Thursday and Friday, I would have been able to get that Reigns probably. But you know, it's just not enough time. Uh, you know, I could use most of my credits, but then I'd be stuck on the other events with no credits because, I don't know, I just don't want to buy any more credits right now. Um, but time will tell. Alrighty, so round four, four, we're definitely going to win this one, and it's good because we have a shit hand. Watch these all be singles and we lose everyone. There we go. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's a... That's a pro cane. I, I didn't realize that. I thought that was a freaking single. Then there we go. We win. So there we go. Good win. Alrighty. And then after this, we'll just go into exhibition and try to finish out proing the gold dust. Which will be clutch. Six picks. We might get a reset here. Come on, baby. Give me a survivor. Survivor Rollins, preferably. Oh, super rare charisma. I'll take that. And we get energy galore. Which I don't mind. Um, come on, baby, load. All right, so we'll see if we we'll see if the matchup is three O's. So we're definitely gonna beat him there, and it is. So we definitely beat him. It looks like he's not energizing either. Um, and after I beat him, probably he's gonna be almost out of brackets because then he'll be five and thirteen. I don't think you're gonna uh, come back from five and thirteen. <laughs> Alrighty, speed and charisma. Now we just need power toughness matches with gold dust. That's the only matchups that we need. So we're just hoping to get a power toughness matchup. Or one of them. Ah oh, shoot. I would have rather had that power toughness matchup with my superstar. Don't give me another diva either. You do. You usually do that. I tell you what the worst thing is trying to level up a diva. You do not get the matchups you want. And sometimes you don't even get diva matchups you want. Alrighty. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Alrighty, so three picks. We'll take it. Emma Rim Survivor Plus. I am. Ba -ba -ba. It'll be easier when I'm in Survivor Plus Plus because then I will get my pick a lot quicker than I want. I bet you if I was in Survivor Plus Plus right now, I would actually end up getting my pool. Alright. Oh, wow. The heck's he got an army in there for? Now it looks like we're probably since we had RTG, since we had ring domination and then RTG, it looks like we're definitely gonna have a PCC this week. Just makes sense. So um, let's see what the reward structure is. If I can remember from last year on WrestleMania tier, um, it wasn't easier to get a survivor because if you take it into perspective, um. And when Survivor Tier hit, it went from legendaries, you had to finish like 2,500, now you had to finish 7,000. So I don't see that happening with Survivor. Um, to get a Survivor, single Survivor, whatever, you're probably still going to have to finish top 4K or something like that. Which, depending on the card, I don't think I'm going to go after anyways. Just because I could get the card, I have the credits, I have the time on the weekends to grind it. It's just I have a family and I don't want to sacrifice time with them 
on uh, the weekends when I don't see them that much. I did not mean to choose that scene either. I was talking poopity poop. Alrighty, and then we don't get anything. And then we lose to the proc. Mother effer. <clears throat> so there we go. We lose to Boosh. Bo -bo 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 Boosh. Alrighty, I wanted to finish out proing this gold. We're not. I'm not ending this video till I can pro out this gold dust, which I need about four matchups for each. More blue stacks. Alrighty, so now it's four. We definitely win. Alrighty, so we're trying to play these regular survivor matchups instead of survivor plus because when I run into survivor plus I'm running the harder matchups and I want the highest uh, winning percentage. Alright, toughness, we're just going to take that. I'm not risking not getting another game played with gold dust. Uh, speed charisma. Naya, uh, freaking Natalia got that freaking proc, so we're going to lose. Oh, wow. I did not think I was going to win that. And I did not freaking mean to use that. Damn it. I meant to hit freaking Shawn Michaels. Dang. <laughs> what the world? Oh my. So here we go. Let's play Mr. Nice Guy. Ugh. Come on, baby. Alright, it's power. Alright, we're going to win that one definitely. Even though they're compatible, they're not going to go up enough. So here we go. Now let's just hope for a power toughness match. Oh, speed charisma. Oh my god, I lose. What the heck? So, I'm probably going to lose this next one too, just because it's a power toughness matchup. Wow, two survivor pros. I guess that's what happens when you have epic pro divas. You have amazing superstars. So, Mr. Nice Guy beat me. Three! Alright. I, I have a couple things to do today. And I just wanted to get this video out the way, so I'm trying to pro out this gold dust for you guys. Let's hurry up. Harold. Got the got the JB uh, champ going on. You know what's disappointing? I've never had a legendary Dean Ambrose yet. I've had almost every freaking other legendary Dean Ambrose. I've had almost every other freaking legendary card except that Dean Ambrose. Alrighty. So now it's two... I can't believe I'm losing so many matchups just for this freaking gold dust. This gold dust better be close to getting done. It gotta be. Better be, please. Fandango. Alrighty, let's see here. So now he just needs power. Three power. Huh. So that's cool. Wow, what the hell? 520 wins. This guy's gonna be a glitcher. Because I already know he has a pro ride back. Freaking glitcher. Alright, speed, charisma. Wow, that, that's a pretty balanced Bree, which means we're going to beat him. Alright, so thank God his Divas are good. Thank God I'm facing his Divas, because the Divas are always going to be crap. And then charisma. Oh, he has an AJ Styles, so he might he's going to end up being able to pro that in the next team event. If you guys didn't already hear... Uh, team Ring Domination is on Monday. I love Team Ring Domination just because it's so easy. It is beyond easy. Um, and I'm happy that we're going to have that event because that's going to be an AJ Styles WrestleMania card. So that's cool. Uh, that's one of the cards I really wanted. The AJ Styles WrestleMania card. Um, I'm hoping the survivors will pray for me as well. Um, last event, my team was able to get the, the Legendary card and the Survivor card. Which was cool because it's two cards. <clears throat> Alrighty, so power, charisma. Um, we're gonna win that one. Should yeah. Breeze power was really bad. Come on, man. Give me a damn power matchup. Alrighty, so three more power with gold dust. Let's hope we can get it done in the next three games. And Kara and Harley Race. Hmm. Let's go with Bruno. 
Bruno. Excuse me. Alrighty, power charisma. We even got the proc there. I don't even remember the last time we proc'd. Sweet power toughness. Thank you, Lord. And it's against the Survivor Pro, so we'll get that out of his deck. So the next matchup should be a easy win. Oh, look at that. There it is. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Biggie Doo going crazy in the background. I was enjoying my morning coffee and my daily Biggie Doo this morning. It's always good. Eddie had a Words of Wisdom episode. So that was cool. A lot of meaningful things in that video he was talking about. Kind of makes you reflect on life almost. And I'm currently finishing up my second cup of coffee. And my daughter is still not awake yet. And it is 10.48 a.m. What in the world? She is sleeping in like crazy. Alrighty, speed. So dang it. Oh sweet, a power charisma matchup. I'll take it, baby. So that means one more power matchup and then we got gold dust completed. I will take loss after loss after loss to get that gold dust done. Yeah, she's still sleeping. I guess you want to let her sleep till 11. <laughs> Alrighty. So, Speed Charisma, we use him. Shawn Michaels. Power Speed, there's Goldust complete. Thank you, Lord. Lordy, Lordy, Lord. So let's finish out this gold dust, then we'll check King of the Ring, and then I'm going to get out of here, guys. This is a 20-minute grinding video. Woo! Alrighty. Jesus, Big Dude's going crazy in the background. Um, wow, this is the last... It's the first authentication card I have had in a while. So there we go. Gold dust is complete. And... There we go. Alrighty. I'm just going to make sure everything is good in the hood. Alrighty, it's all good. Then we combine. Uh, whoa, I don't want to combine the wrong one. <laughs> um, so we're just going to switch this guy out with something else real quick. Come on, come on. Let's just switch him out with the rock. And then I'm just going to take the other gold dust and lock him up. Because I do not want to uh, risk it happening. Thank you, Lord. Um, let's go to normal cards and let's get this gold dust good. Let's use epics here. Um, bye bye epics, Xavier Woods. Um, Jesus Kofi too. Get them all good. And we're gonna pause this video while we train all these. Alrighty, here we go. We should have gold dust complete. There it is. Um, so what do you see? Toughness, charisma, do, let's do two, and, whoa, 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 and three. Here we go, his power toughness is going to suck, of course, I don't really care though. Um, so boom, I mean, I like his toughness, charisma. Uh, his power, his power and speed are going to be like 1400, but his power, his toughness and charisma is going to be good, which is what I care about. Um, what the world? Hold up. So, on this, I never noticed this. On this Seamus, I must have put one on proc before. I never noticed that before, though. 
Um, that's cool that we got gold dust in there. So let's see what it does to our RTG deck. Should improve it a little bit. Yeah, it improves it a little bit. So that's cool. Um, and now we start the grind to train up something else. Seems like that's all we do anymore. Um, so let's go to tough. Let's go here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do this warrior next. Uh, that sucks. I hate doing training up cards. Um, let's go to legendary. Let's put him in to set it up for when I get off this video. Ultimate warrior. Oops, we have to trade him out and all that good stuff. He's gonna be the next pro we get. Um, but yeah, guys, it's gonna wrap up today's video, guys. Almost a 25 minute video. Um, thank you all for watching, guys. Don't forget to drop that like button and subscribe if you guys already have it, guys. And I'm Fit the Bird. I will see you.